Oktoberfest in Munich. 16 days of partying. The biggest beer festival in the world. Its blend of booze and Bavarian tradition attracts millions of people every year. But many overdo it. Someone tried to grope her! And go too far. You know what to expect. Oktoberfest was a man's world, but more women are now doing what had been considered male jobs, like tent manager, running carousels and rickshaws. Nearly there. Stop it. Do that again and I'll kick you out. Equal rights or sheer madness? Oktoberfest is about to kick off. The highlight of the year for Celia Steinberg. She's manager of one of the largest tents, the Hofbräu Festival Tent. How's your stress level? Through the roof. I'm super excited and have to keep an eye on the time. We've got to get going or we'll be late, and we can't have that. Okay, fast. I don't have time. She and her team must get from the restaurant to the tent. We've got to leave in the next 10 minutes. We're off to the Wiesen. Thousands of visitors are already there. Celia is running late. Following tradition, she's going by carriage, but it hasn't been loaded properly. No one needs water. Who drinks that? Let's go, go, go. Fun as it all looks, this is a high-stakes business. Tent managers are among the most powerful figures at Oktoberfest. And, until quite recently, they have all been men. No one could have imagined it 30 years ago. Female tent managers. But things have changed. The women who do it all grew up with it. You have to earn respect, no matter what business you're in. She's arrived, not a minute too soon. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Wiesen 2024 and the beautiful Hofbräu tent. The first kegs are tapped at the same time in all tents. Oktoberfest is now officially open. There are 14 main beer tents in all. Only a few are run by women. More than 6 million visitors from all over the world come to the world's largest beer festival every year. It's a celebration of Bavarian tradition, complete with old-school dirndls and lederhosen. Flirting, like drinking, is part of the Oktoberfest vibe. But sometimes it all gets out of hand. You can see it's a bit of a free-for-all. You need to watch out. A hand on the butt is nothing unusual. Someone tried to grope her. A man just came up and just grabbed her put his hand up my butt. It's so fast, you don't have time to react. Alcohol and men, it's always the same. A tough environment for the women who work here. A rickshaw driver who calls herself Rosie is readying her ride for passengers. About 200 bike taxi drivers work at Oktoberfest. These days, some of them are women. Getting along with drunk people behaving badly and staying cool and being nice can be a challenge. But Rosie knows what to do if things turn nasty. There's this. And this. And when I really need it. That one's the last resort. 
Rosie is skilled at navigating through crowds in her rickshaw, which is lit up to attract passengers. So good. And Off we go. Hello. Hi there. <laughs> well? Yeah, I can take three. Sure, I can take three of you. <laughs> schnitzel. I'll take you to Augustiner for schnitzel. 18 euros. Rosie is self-employed and owns her rickshaw. Cheap, great, we're off for schnitzel. Before they even set off, it's obvious there's going to be trouble. You've got great legs. Last one in the middle. Or you just get up on his lap to make some more room. Okay, right. Left, and you in the middle. <laughs> Let's go. Watch out. Legs up. Hey, don't drop your pants. Come on, then you can have your schnitzel. Rosie is transporting about 250 kilos. But with these guys, weight is the least of her problems. Uh, <laughs> Don't break my rickshaw. <laughs> Controlling these passengers isn't easy. Great, he's getting out. What a guy. Finish. You're going to behave? Do you want to get in or not? Then you need to behave. We're nearly there. Stop it. Do that again and I'll kick you out. I'm kicking you out. Stop that. Rosie spends the entire 15-minute trip keeping her passengers in check. Augustina and Schnitzel. Finally. Take care, you rascal. <laughs> Does that happen a lot? At this time of night, yeah. There's a bit of damage every year, for sure. But the way that guy was jumping up and down, that could really damage the bike. And that would be it. I can't let people do that. But you manage to stay friendly. Sure, you have to. They don't mean any harm. They're just having fun and don't realize they're causing damage. Eva Schleifer's truck is a bit more robust. Oktoberfest is two weeks away, and she's here to set up her carousel. When you drive onto the grounds with the window down, you sometimes hear people go, Did you see that? A woman. That makes me feel pretty cool. As a child, Eva helped her parents fix up this historic carousel. Today, there's a loose screw, and it's holding things up. With old things, there's always something that doesn't fit. We need the cordless screwdriver and a few bits. I have to do it all myself. I don't have a brother or a husband to do it. And actually, I don't want to depend on a man, because it's my carousel. I don't want it to work just because I had some guy around to do it. The screw's been tightened and it's on to the next job. Eva is 26. After studying event management, she joined the business that's been in her family for five generations. Every year, the Schleifer's Carousel is at the Euden Wiesen, the historic part of Oktoberfest. Are you ready? Ready for a ride? Then listen up, please. Attention, please. It's a little journey through time. Everything is retro. The design, the team's outfits, the music, even the technology. 
This is an old Siemens Schucker three-phase AC motor with 8 kilowatts. You can see how the carousel picks up speed. I can show you how the whole thing works in the back. This is a saltwater basin and the three phases of the motor are connected with three iron blades. The deeper those dip into the saltwater, the more current can flow and the faster the carousel moves. Hello. Hey there. How old are you? Five. I'm afraid you're not old enough. We can't take children under six. A ticket here may only cost one euro fifty, but the hordes of visitors to Oktoberfest are spending a lot of money. It's a major event. After Christmas, it's where we make our biggest turnover. Back to Celia Steinberg in the Hofbräu tent, one of the largest at Oktoberfest. Celia's team served more than 780,000 liters of beer at last year's festival and had an estimated revenue in the millions. She has 550 employees working for her in and around the festival tent. Sometimes being a woman in this job has its advantages. It's sweet when I arrive and the security guards are like, oh, the boss, sometimes they lift me off my feet. They wouldn't do that with a man. It's cute when they treat me well and appreciate me as a woman. But the beer tent can also be dangerous, especially for female visitors. There's now a safe space where women can go to get help if they've been harassed or assaulted. To protect their privacy, we aren't allowed to film there. Halfway through the Oktoberfest, some 180 women had sought help from Lisa Luffler and her team. Some couldn't find their way home. Others had been accosted or wanted to report sexual harassment. No matter how a woman's dressed, behaves, even if she's drunk, she has a right to party here without being harassed. As far as we're concerned, a woman can be alone, naked and drunk at Oktoberfest, and she still has a right not to be harassed. Back at the rickshaw line, these passengers are much better behaved. Left, right, you in the middle. Rosie has been doing this for 15 years. She comes to Munich with her rickshaw, especially for Oktoberfest, driving up to 16 hours a day and making sure everyone's okay. Good Lord, she's almost naked. Had a hot night, have you? <laughs> At least he's looking after her. <laughs> Rosie can earn up to several hundred euros a day, but she doesn't get more tips than her male colleagues. That doesn't happen often. What I do get is a lot of invitations. People asking me to come with them to their hotel, the hotel bar or whatever. They invite you up? I'd say that borders on or is sexual harassment. Yeah, well, they try their luck. If I feel harassed, what I do about it, that's up to me. It's not as if I can't defend myself. Back at the carousel. The long days and nights at Oktoberfest are worth it for Eva Schleifer, not just financially. Last year someone said, this is one of my last great adventures. An older man, very smartly dressed with tears in his eyes, telling me how great it was. Those are the moments when I know what I'm doing it for. I can't think of a better job than giving joy to people, giving them a special experience. Meanwhile, in the Hofbräu tent, the band is playing its last song. The last beers are served at half past ten. Celia Steinberg says goodbye to her guests. It's my calling. It's the perfect job for me. I love it all. The guests, the staff, the organizing, and we make people happy. You can tell, and that's lovely.
Despite the chaos, there are plenty of heartwarming sides to Oktoberfest. Like when the crowds cheerfully stagger home. I'm a night owl, to be honest. It doesn't really bother me that I'm still out and about at night. All the crazy things happen after dark. <laughs> Satisfied visitors, tidy profits, excitement. The addictive highs outweigh the lows for the women of Oktoberfest.